We just want to keep the thing that we've already got. And I'm joined now by Robert Braddock, who is the managing director of Braddock's Leisure, which is a holiday resort in Westwood Ho in Devon. Thank you very much for joining us. Great to have you on the show. Look, what do you make of the fact that 300,000 people, they're all thereabouts, have already signed this petition? They are desperate to tell the government, don't kill cash. No, I hear everything you said then. It was, um, you, you hit the nail on the head. You, you've got to have a choice and it's got to be, if I want to spend cash, this is what I want to do going forward. I've earned it. Let me do what I want to do with it. Um, it it's, it's a must. It's got to carry on. And um, well done for going round number 10 today. I think you've done really well there. No, thank you very much. But the only reason we could do that is because so many people have got behind this campaign and it really is genuinely, you know, we say with the People's Channel, we really do mean it. But you obviously deal with a heck of a lot of people on a daily basis. And, and what are you seeing there? You know, do you think that people might be excluded if, if they don't have cash? Are you, why are you concerned about it? Um, well, I run a uh, tourism business in Westwood Ho in North Devon. We have some bars and we have um, restaurants. We have a holiday park right on the coast um, with about 140 units. Um, but we also have two amusement arcades, which um, we've had them for 40, 50 years. Um, they, they were, you know, big in the day, I think, but that slowly over time, technology is taking over. They're not quite as busy as they were. But the one thing which people do in love coming to the seaside towns, um, such as Westwood Ho, is they, they love to go in the arcades with the kids or their grandkids and give them a bag of two peas and they can run along and little Johnny can go and play on the arcade machines. But of course, all that will come to a big of a stop when um, there's no cash to play. I don't know what would happen then. It would be a bit of a bit of a skip required, I think, to chuck some machines away. So I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't like it, the sound of it at all. I, I don't. Th I think it's here to stay. I don't think it's going to go away. Yet. No, good. Um, but that, that, the, the, the other but, point there, um, the other point there, just for me to, to, to cut in on that, because I think it's vital, is that there is something that will be lost culturally if we lost cash. I love the amusement arcades. I love the kind of seafront aesthetic that we have in this country. That is a very, very British thing, to go down the seafront somewhere, to go to seaside towns, see all those amusement arcades. And I can remember as a child going in there with my grandma and my granddad, going in there with my parents. I know loads of people will remember that exact same thing, going back years. And we don't want to lose that. There is something joyous, actually, about going and putting 2p in the machine or putting a pound in the machine, not having to, to tap in and, and to tap out. And then also, so that hearing all of the coins drop, if you are lucky enough to win before, like if you're anything like me, you inevitably put it all back in the machines again. There would be something cultural loss there, I think. Absolutely, yes. I, I do go abroad a little bit and I see what's going on in other countries, um, such as America. And I know they've gone down a route of um, no, no cash on some of their machines. And it's just you tap away. You don't really know what you're spending as such. Whereas I know if you've got a five pound note and you gave it to your son or your, your grandchild, when the five pounds gone, that's it. You've got to go now, isn't it? Yeah. But um, I do worry about these these touching card things. It, 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 it is a bit um, concerning, but I, I'm all for keeping the cash going and just let everybody spend what they want to and know what they're spending as well in in the bars for example people don't know what they're spending anymore really they just tap away uh, like four pints of this and a couple of shots of that tap away tap away but nobody really knows quite what they're spending unless they go and sit down look in their phone and um see the receipts and go geez that's, that was that was quite expensive wasn't it or, or not but at least with cash you know how much a pint is you know what you're spending you've got a little bit of a rain on on the idea a little bit yeah, look, Robert, I think, again, another fantastic point there relating to actually safety, especially when it comes to children. I mean, I know a lot of people now whose kids, you know, mess around on the Xbox or on the PlayStation or whatever they're using online, and then they wake up one morning to yeah. you know, a £2,000 bill because their six-year-old child has done something mental on the iPad. And you think, well, actually, if they were out and about with a bit of cash, then they wouldn't actually be able to get into as much trouble, possibly. But, Robert, thank you, Robert Braddock.